All right, homie G's, you asked for it. Let's do the build coded by Hudson. First thing we're going to do is go down to your standard assets, go to your game scripts SLE, go to student script. All right, double click. Bring down your Unity window, go inside the SLE game setup, go to game scripts, go to student scripts, and grab the build script and drag it and drop it in. Close out the finder window, bring back the Unity window, and very good, now we have the build script in our setup. So now we're going to go to the hierarchy on the left and click on our player. Go to the inspector on the right, scroll all the way down and go to add component and just type in build script. Start typing it and it should come up and click on it. And now we added the build script to our player. If you notice, we have a build point and a build prefab. We're going to come back to this in a little while. Let's create the build object. So go to the game object, go to 3D object, and I'm going to just pick a cube. I'm going to take the cube and I'm going to just reshape it into a little platform. You can make whatever game object you want to be able to build, but I'm going to just make this simple. We're making a nice little platform. I want to make it pretty big. That looks pretty good. Very good. Now this game object is going to be our build prefab. So let's create that prefab. What you need to do is go to your standard assets and let's create a folder inside standard assets called underscore prefabs. Click enter, double click inside of the prefabs and then let's right click again and let's go to create and let's create a prefab. Now we're going to rename new prefab to build object and let's do underscore one just in case we want to make multiple build objects. Go to your hierarchy on the left, grab your cube, which was our object that we created, and drop it into the build object one prefab. Now this object will be our build prefab, all right? So let's go back to the hierarchy on the left, and let's just delete the cube, because we don't need that anymore, because we have our build object one. Go back to your player in the hierarchy, and then go to the inspector on the right, scroll down to your build script, and see where it says build prefab. We're going to take that build object one and drop it where it says build prefab. Now we need to create a build point. That's where we want the object to appear when we build. Go to your hierarchy on the left to the player, click the little arrow, and you want to go on first person character. Okay, make sure you're on that, and right click and go to create empty. Now rename game object to build point. Hit enter. And you should see a little game object just like this on top of your player. Go to your player, go back down to the build script, and you're going to grab that build point, and you're going to drag it into the build point in the build script. Let's hit play and test this to see what it does. I'm going to hit play. V is the button that builds, so I'm going to move a little bit and look around, and I'm going to click V a couple times and see what happens. I'm hitting it, and oh, look, there it is. But it's building above me. I want it to build below me. So we need to change something. We need to move that build point that we just created. So hit escape, and let's get out of the game. Unhit play. Now let's move the build point down just a little bit. And remember, you can always go on the far right and actually do it manually by changing the Y. So let's try that. I'm going to change it to negative 2. Let's see what that does. I'm going to click V, and oh, there it is. It went below me. That's pretty good. But now maybe I want it to come a little bit more in front of me, so I'm going to have to move it again just a little bit. So I am going to hit Escape. Let's go back out. Let's see where I need to move it. I'm going to rearrange my scene so I can look at my actual player and see which direction it's looking. So, as you can see, that represents, that box represents your screen and where it's looking. So I know I need to move this forward on the blue. Okay? So, I'm going to grab the blue, which is the z-axis, and I'm going to just move it forward a little bit. Hit play, and let's try that. I'm going to hit V. Oh, now it's a little bit more above me. So you, all you need to do now is just mess around with that game point and get it exactly where you want it. 
Now for those of you that want to have multiple build objects, I'm going to show you how to do that. Go to your player in your hierarchy, go to your inspector and go to the build script. Go to the dial button on the right and hit edit script. Give it a second, this is going to open up the script that Hudson coded. And we're going to just do some copy and pasting. Go to the top and find public game object build prefab, command C, and then underneath it, command V. Now I want you to add a 2 to build prefab, so now you have build prefab 2. And now go down to the if statement, highlight everything, make sure you have the brackets, command C. Go underneath that one bracket and hit command V and paste that if statement. Now where it says get key down key code, change the V to C. That means whenever you click C, you will build another object. Now you also need to change the build prefab to build prefab 2, the one you just created at the top. Go to the top, hit play, make sure you have no errors or warnings, very good, and then you can close it out. Now when you look on the inspector on the right, you should give it a few seconds and it should reload and you should have a build prefab 2 now, right there. Now let's create another prefab. So in our prefabs folder, right click, create, and choose prefab. Rename this new prefab to build object 2. Now let's create our second build object. So let's go to game object at the top. 3D object and cube, and I'm going to just make this simple. I'm going to just make my second game object that I build just a cube. So I'm going to just make it big, and once again, I'm going to now drag that cube into the new game prefab, and now I have two, and let's take that cube and delete it, and let's take the new prefab, which is now my cube, which is my game object two, and go back to my build script inside of my player go on the inspector on the right and let's drag that build object 2 into the prefab 2 now that's going to be my second build object so let's test it i'm going to hit play give it a minute now i'm going to hit v a couple times and there's my first object and now i'm going to hit c and let's see what happens see oh there it is so now c builds the cube and v builds the platform